The Independent National Electoral Commission has announced plans to conduct a mock voter accreditation exercise on September 10, 2024, as part of their preparation for the upcoming state governorship election. Moving on after this, we have over 125,000 PVCs collected in Edo in just five days. Before we proceed, I welcome you back to my wonderful channel, Reality Letters GC, home of news and politics. Thank you all so much for joining us on today's news. If today is the first time of watching, kindly subscribe, like, comment, share, but don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified whenever we drop our video to all our missing subscribers. Thank you all so much for joining. So guys, let's proceed. The Independent National Electoral Commission has announced plans to conduct a mock voter accreditation exercise on September 10, 2024, as part of their preparation for the upcoming state governorship election. The election is slated for September 21st, 2024. So now, the National Commissioner and Chairman of the Information and Voter Education Committee, Sam Olumeko, announced on Tuesday that the mock exercise is intended to test the deployment of the bimodal voter accreditation system and the electronic result upload process to the INEC result viewing portal. And the exercise will run from 8.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. on the designated day. In continuation of the preparation for the Edo State Governorship Election held on Saturday, 21st September 24, the Commission are going to test run the bimodal voter accreditation system and result upload to the INEC Results Viewing Portal for the election using live voters in select location in Edo State. The trial will take place in 12 selected polling units across six local government areas in Edo State, covering the three senatorial districts. One. In Edo Central, the mock accreditation will be conducted at Eguare Primary School in Eguare 1 and Umweneje Primary School in Umweneje, both in Eastern Central local government. Additionally, Eguare Primary School 1 in Owohemi and Eguare Ekusan, formerly LA School in Emu, located in Eastern South East local government, will serve as testing centers. In a donut, the commission said that the exercise is going to take place at Isokwe Iyogbe Azama Primary School in Iyeloa and the polling unit at Institute of Continuing Education Road in Awochi, both in Isakon West local government area, Omwore Owere Primary School in Ihuwere Ora and Holy Trinity Grammar School in Sabogida Ora, Onwa West local government. So it has also been selected in Edo South. The designated polling units are Western Boys High School 1 and Orobosere Primary School 1 in Ubewaka Local Government, along with Idia College 1 and Pioneer Primary School 1 in Oredo Local Government. Olumeko explained that for this purpose, the Commission has designated 12 polling units across six local government areas covering the three senatorial districts of the state as centers for the mock accreditation. Right now, INEC has urged registered voters in their polling unit to participate by bringing their permanent voters card. However, only voters registered at the specific polling unit where the mock accreditation is being conducted will be allowed to participate. So the commission has appealed to registered voters to come out with their permanent voters card for the exercise. But they should please note that only registered voters, only <laughs> for the designated polling unit they just mentioned, are invited to participate in the exercise. So no voter from another polling unit can be accredited by the bimodal voter accreditation system. So you guys, I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions are in our comment section. Let's keep the conversation lively. Once again, thank you all so much for staying to us. Moving on to the next one. Ahead of the Edo governorship election, the Independent National Electoral Commission announced on Tuesday that about 125,928 permanent voters' cards have been collected in the state within five days. So according to Sam Olumiku, INEC National Commission and Chairman of the Information and Voter Education Committee, he said the previous collection represents 68.3% of the 184,438 new cards issued during the recent continuous voters registration exercise. So this marked the highest collection rate recorded by the INEC since the introduction of continuous voters registration for off-circle governorship election in 2015. The collection which took place across all 192 wards in Edo states between 22 and 26 August 2024 was achieved through a careful coordinated effort by INEC. So the commission created the sources 
to their strategic packaging of PVCs by polling units, ward and local governments, along with direct communication to voters about the availability of their cards. As previously announced by the Commission Permanent Voters Card from the recent continuous voter registration in Edo State, we are available for collection at two levels. First, across all 192 wards from Thursday 22 August to Monday 26 August 2024, and the second one at their 18 local government office. So the Commission is pleased to announce the conclusion of the collection at the ward level, learning from past experience because they carefully package all the PVC by pulling units, ward and local governments. They also produce a collection register detailing the voters whose card were ready for collection and they uploaded the information on their website. In addition, they contacted voters using addresses provided at the time of registration. So as the result be now, out of the 184,438 new PVCs available, 125,928 cards have been collected by voters representing 68.3% of the total. So this is the highest percentage of PVC collected in five days since the commission introduced the CVR, the Continuous Voters Registration, ahead of the off-circle governorship election in 2015. Since since now, a detailed breakdown of the collection by the local government has been uploaded on INEC website and social media platforms for public information. The INEC also announced that the collection process will move to 18 local government area offices in Edo State where voters can pick up their PVCs from 28 to 8 September 2024. The commission also stated that PVC must be collected in person as no card will be issued by proxy and they have made detailed information about the location of the local government office available on their website. So right now, they are encouraging voters who have not yet collected their PVCs to do so as soon as possible. So they are appealing to the remaining voters to pick up their PVCs in person from their local government offices that they have stated on their website and on different social media platforms because no card will be collected by proxy. Detailed information on the location of their local government office is already available on their website. So guys, I would like to know your thoughts, your contributions, your opinions are in our comment section. I would love to hear from you. Once again, thank you all so much for staying to us. But if you haven't subscribed to our page yet, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also share. But don't forget to turn the notification bell to get notified whenever I drop our video because I'm sure you don't want to miss out on the latest news. Happy new social media to all amazing subscribers. Thank you all so much for staying to us. To all our viewers out there. Thank you so much for staying to us. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. To like, come here, we next. Bye for now.